Hello, I wanted to come at you real quick with a hot tip for Aurora HDR 2017. And this has to do with single raw photos. I think in a lot of ways I've been doing Aurora a disservice by not talking about this enough. You know, so much with HDR we talk about having multiple exposures, you know, bracketed exposures, but you don't even need that. And I'm sure, like me, you've got thousands of RAW files just sitting around waiting for new magic to happen to them. So I'm going to edit a few quick photos right now. It's my studio right behind me. I'm going to show you how powerful this is and what you can do with a single RAW photo. All right, let's work on some single RAW photos here. Here I've got three from Iceland, all right, but let's just pick the, the middle one for now, just to show you how easy it is and how amazing the results are, frankly. I'm constantly shocked. So I've got this one file in here, and I'll just say, create HDR. All right, and here we are. Now, in a situation like this, you'll probably want to use your smart tone to bring up those shadows right there. You can bring up a lot. I'm going to bring them down just a little bit, just to give a little bit of color down there, a little bit of light. Uh, I'm going to drop down the blacks just a little bit, too, just to give a little bit of inky blackness back down there. Cool. All right, already looking better. Uh, we'll go around and play with a few other things while we're here. All right. You know, it is an HDR kind of program, so we might as well use HDR structure. So again, it's you can deal, you can dial this up however much you want to. You can go kind of extreme HDR or not so much, right? So I'm going to go up just a little bit. I'm going to soften it just a little bit. Oh yeah, cool. And then I'll do a little bit of denoise, except a little bit of noise in there. So a little HDR denoise, a little bit of smooth. It's looking good. A little bit of image radiance to give it that nice kind of fairy tale glow. I can all, you might notice too that image radiance sometimes darkens it. See how the bottom gets darker? So that's why we added this brightness. So you can, you can brighten it up just a little bit. All right. A little smart colorized, a little oomph in there, a little oomph. All right, there we go. Uh, we can play with some more. We won't do it right now. Just trying to make this a quick tip, quick tip. And let's look at the before and after. You can click on the eyeball right here. Uh, before, after, before, after. Awesome. Okay, let me show you just one more, and I'll show you a slightly more advanced trick, okay? So let's go down here. This is uh, some quadcopter photos that I shot in Venice. So let's work on this one. Let's bring this one down here and drop it inside Aurora HDR 2017. And of course, there's many ways to get things into Aurora. You can open it straight from Aurora. You can round trip from Lightroom. Many ways to skin the internet cat. And here we are. Look how fast that is. Now, uh, once again, we might do a little bit of smart tone here, pull up those shadows a little bit. Cool. Um, let's add a little bit more color in this one, just a bit, bit more vibrance in here like that. Okay. Let's add a little HDR structure, um, a little bit of boost, a little bit of softness. Okay. And let's add some denoise again and some smoothing. Okay. Now I want to show you one, one little trick here. Okay. First time we add some contrast in. Because I like how the contrast brings in a little bit of inkiness. So uh, do you see how the, the sun kind of looks like a, a blob right there? It's kind of, mm, some might say, not so pretty. Uh, here's a nice little way to get rid of that, okay? But this involves layers. Um, so right now, I'm going to add a new layer, okay? And we're just leave it named layer one. We could rename it if we want to. And we'll go down here to image radiance, okay? And we're going to play with this and play with a smart colorize, move these things up until that just slowly kind of goes away. Increase the smoothness, increase the amount. And now you see the sun is no longer this blob, but it did kind of brighten up the whole thing, right? I don't really like what it did everywhere else. It kind of darkened the rest of Venice, okay? So I'm gonna click the brush, and now where I start brushing, it will brush in my new layer. Okay, oops, let me make it visible again. So as I brush across here, once, twice, three times a lady, just smooth across the sky there. Look at that. Nice. Maybe down to the water too as well. Just a little bit. A little bit of glowy glow down there. Perfect. Okay. So if I look at the mask, what I've done is, let's get that little bit too, is I've just gone over the sky part and I've left the bottom alone. So that radiance is only happening on the sky. So I can turn on and off this yellow dot and see how I kind of smoothed out the sky. There you go. Two tips in one for you. All right, I've got a few more tip videos here, so feel free to uh, check them all out. Thank you for watching. All right, you've got three choices. You go grab the new Aurora HDR, or you get the bundle that is a nice long tutorial, or maybe go check out my new presets. All right, thanks.